everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Victoria Montefusco and I'm a lover of all things when it comes to makeup, fragrance, and beauty. And today I'm really excited. I'm going to be trying a lot of perfume samples from a indie brand called Kiss Perfumes, K-Y-S-E. This is a one woman show run perfume brand. I believe she's a chemist who has like a passion for fragrance, which is really cool. A lot of her fragrances are extremely gourmand inspired, like inspired by foods and foodie kind of notes. So I'm really excited. I have a whole bunch of fragrance samples. So we're just gonna go through them. We're gonna read notes, talk about first impressions, all of that stuff. By the end of this, I'm probably gonna be nose blind. <laughs> so if you all are excited, to hear about Kiss Perfumes, which I certainly am, then please keep on watching. All right, so we're going in random order here. I'm first going to try macarons, which I assume is supposed to smell like the French dessert macarons. So this fragrance was released in 2021, and it has notes of marzipan, custard, sponge sugar, cherry, heliotrope, and myrrh. Again, it's supposed to be like very gourmand. I'm excited to try it. So I bought these like tiny little samples. These were the smallest samples I could find um, on their website and you just untwist the cap and it's just like a little dabber. So I'm gonna try this on index card and we'll see what I think. Hmm, I think I'm gonna need a dab more on the card. One dab is not enough for me to know exactly what's going on here. There we go, that looks good. Yeah, you definitely smell cherry. Cherry comes through very quickly. And that cherry mix with the marzipan, which if you're not aware, if you're not a baker, marzipan is like an almond paste. So the cherry with the almond like kind of gives a similar vibe to me, a little bit similar to like Tom Ford Lodge cherry, for example. Yeah, it's just like almondy, cherry, sweet. To me, Lodge cherry is a bit more like heavy on the cherry. This to me is a bit more heavy on like the almond, the custardy vibes. I know there's heliotrope and myrrh in here. I don't smell that at all. Maybe it's giving it a bit more of like a powdery vibe to this fragrance, but I don't really smell it. This smells nice. This does smell like almond paste, almond extract, but it's not like so strongly almond that it's like gonna hit you in the face and like give you a headache. So I feel like a lot of almond fragrances are so heavy on the almond, it can like easily overpower you. This one's a bit more subtle. I think this is really pretty. I wanna try this one on my skin. It's just a really pleasant, like desserty, almondy kind of fragrance. And that's what macarons are. Macarons are made with like almonds, with ground almonds. So yeah, this is great. I like this one. I think it smells good. All right, next up I have Cacao Noisette. And pardon me if I pronounce some of these wrong. So this fragrance was released in 2020. This is supposed to be like a cacao nutty kind of fragrance. Um, and this fragrance has notes of cacao, hazelnut, caramel, Tahitian vanilla, and musk. To me, when I saw these notes, I'm like, is this gonna smell like Nutella? Because if it smells like Nutella, like I love Nutella. I'm totally down for that. So let's give this one a try. I'm really hoping it's gonna smell like Nutella. Mmm. <laughs> I don't know about this one. Let me smell it. This one's definitely a stronger smell versus macarons. Macarons is like subtle, sweet, almond. This one's like bam, hazelnut in your face. This to me smells like a cheap hazelnut chocolate. It does not smell like Nutella. Nutella is like richer chocolate hazelnut. This is like Hazelnut in your face with like a little bit of like that cheap chocolate smell. I'm not really a fan of this one. Like chocolate notes and fragrances to me are either like super hit or super miss. Like when they're super hit, they're just like really realistic, rich, dark, yummy chocolate. And when they're a miss, it's like cheap chocolate, Tootsie Rolls, blech. And this is more giving me that cheap chocolate kind of vibe, which personally I don't wanna smell like. So. Cacao Noisette is not for me. A little bit too like cheap chocolatey smelling and very, very heavy on the hazelnut. And I would prefer a more expensive chocolate smell and less hazelnut. So it's like more of a true like chocolate hazelnut spread kind of smell. Next up, I have Peche 
uh, Yuzu. So this fragrance was released in 2019. And this is a very different kind of gourmand um, versus the last two that we tried. So this is supposed to be like a fruity gourmand. This has notes of peach, yuzu, vanilla, tonka bean, jasmine. So I'm assuming this is gonna be like a fruity vanilla kind of scent, maybe a bit powdery from that floral. So let's give it a try. Ooh, this is a very realistic peach scent. I never smelled yuzu, so to be honest, I can't say like, oh, I smell the yuzu. I don't really know what that note smells like. But this to me is what I wanted Tom Ford Bitter Peach to be. I absolutely hated that scent. I thought it smelled disgusting. Um, not at all like a ripe peach that you're like taking a bite out of. This to me smells like almost like peach iced tea, which again, isn't that like super realistic peach that I was wanting, but hey, I don't mind smelling like peach iced tea. I love peach iced tea. So <laughs> this to me smells like peach iced tea. I don't smell vanilla. I don't smell tonka. There's a little bit something powdery in there, which could be that jasmine, maybe the tonka. But yeah, this is like a peach iced tea. Like, you know, when you get like crystal light, those crystal light packets, um, and like the peach iced tea one from crystal light, like that's basically what this smells like. And that to me is a very nostalgic smell and I like that smell. So yeah, this one's good. I'm not like passionate about it, but it's good. I'll probably try this one on my skin. But because of that like peach iced tea vibe, this to me is very much like spring, summer, not fall, winter. All right, next we have Frangipani Al Pistachio. So this perfume was released last year in 2021. This is supposed to be, to me, like an almond pistachio kind of fragrance. This has notes of almond, vanilla, pistachio, sugar, whipped cream, heliotrope, sandalwood. So again, this sounds like a powdery almond, pistachio, vanilla kind of gourmand scent. So let's give this one a try. I personally love pistachios. Um, like I am Sicilian on my mom's side and Sicilians, at least the ones in my family, are obsessed with pistachios. So I've eaten a lot of pistachios in my day and I do really like them. There's a lot of like Italian and Sicilian desserts that have pistachio in them. So I'm hoping maybe this will smell like that. Whoa. Whoa, that is cool. Oh my gosh. This smells like pistachio ice cream. This is crazy. Like that pistachio smell is pistachio ice cream. Like there's something about this, like I don't want to sound crazy, but there's something about this that almost smells like coal. And maybe it's because the smell of this is so reminiscent of pistachio ice cream. But like pistachio ice cream is like green, and it has a lot of taste of pistachios, a little bit of almond, and it has like the chopped pistachios in there. And wow, that is really cool. This smells really good. I definitely want to try this one on my skin. I could, I mean, because I associate pistachio ice cream with like visiting my grandmother in New York City in the summertime, I could see myself wearing this in the spring and the summer, but also because it's like so gourmand, I could see myself wearing this in the fall and winter as well. Wow, that is so realistic pistachio ice cream. That is insane. I really like this one. If you like the smell of pistachio ice cream, I think you're really gonna like frangipani al pistachio. Mm, that was good. All right, we're going in random order here. Next I have Zucchero Filato. I believe this one's supposed to smell like cotton candy. This fragrance was also released in 2021 and this only has three notes, red berries, cotton candy, spun sugar. To me, this is supposed to smell like cotton candy, like duh. So let's give this one a try. I like cotton candy. Um, actually my boyfriend, when we first met and we went on our first date, because we actually met on Tinder, fun fact, um, we were talking on Tinder before we met about cotton candy because he was making like homemade cotton candy. And um, I was like, oh yeah, I really like cotton candy. So when he picked me up for our first date, he bought me flowers and cotton candy. So yeah, whenever I see cotton candy or think of cotton candy, I think of him. So let's smell this one. No. I don't like this. To me, cotton candy doesn't smell like berries. Cotton candy smells like just like pure sugar carnival. Yeah, this smells a lot like berries. It's very sweet berries because there's a lot of like sugariness to it, but this almost smells like 
berries tossed in sugar. And that's not really what I'm looking for. So I don't think this is a very realistic cotton candy smell, at least not the cotton candy that I've eaten. Not the cotton candy that I enjoy. So Zucro Filato, not for me. All right, I'm trying to go fast. These are so many of these. <laughs> Next we have Fishi et Pana. So this fragrance was released in 2018. So this is one of the older ones. And this is supposed to be like a milky fig fragrance. It has notes of fig, milk, vanilla, sandalwood, sugar. Um, I'm not a huge fig fan, but I'm like maybe milky figs are more my vibe. Again, figs remind me of my grandparents, my mom's parents. Um, they had a fig tree at one of their houses. And so like figs just remind me of them. Again, I feel like Italians really love figs. Um, don't know why, but <laughs> like whenever I think of figs, I think of them. So we'll give this one a try. Maybe milky figs is my vibe. I'm not sure. I can barely smell this one. Maybe I'm going nose blind. I've already tried five. Actually, this is my sixth fragrance. I think I have like 18 or 19. So we have a long way to go, but okay. I can smell it a little bit. This smells very green. It's very, very, very subtle, at least to my nose. Like it is hard to smell. There's nothing really lactonic to this that I can smell. There's something a bit woody. So like sandalwood, I can definitely see. Yeah, it's like sweet greenness, woodiness. I'm not really a fan of this. A, I think it's too subtle for me. B, I'm not smelling that fruity, juicy fig note that I was wanting to smell. It's not nearly as lactonic as I was hoping. So Fichi e Pana, I don't think it's for me, but it does smell pleasant. It's just not a fragrance for me. All right, next up we have Glacé à la Fleur de Oranger. Again, I am butchering these names. <laughs> I'm so sorry. So this fragrance was released last year in 2021. This has notes of orange blossom, musk, ice cream, vanilla, Orange blossom, like florals kind of scare me a little bit, but I'm like ice cream. This is supposed to smell like a yummy ice cream. Like I'm intrigued. So let's give this one a try. And also I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but all of these perfumes from Kiss are unisex. I mean, I believe perfume can be worn by anybody. I don't care what gender you are. Like if you want to wear a male fragrance and you're female, go ahead. If you want to wear a female fragrance and you're non-binary, go ahead. Like who cares? But um, all of these fragrances are listed as unisex on Fragrantica, which is where I'm reading the notes. So I just wanted to let you know that. No, uh, uh, nope, uh, nope, I don't like orange blossom. Uh, that is so heavy on orange blossom. Nope, <laughs> next, I really hate that. Okay, this one is really old. This one's called Mandorlo Chocolato, I believe is how you pronounce it. So this was released in 2014, so this is an oldie. Um, and this has notes of almond, cacao, orange, coffee, butter, white flowers, benzoin, bourbon, vanilla, patchouli, oak moss, artemisia. It has a lot of different notes in it. I assume since it's been around for so long, it must be good, it must be popular. Um, so yeah, let's give it a try. Patchouli, oak moss, that kind of scares me a little bit. White flowers, you know, that's not my vibe but maybe this is like a more realistic chocolate scent versus that hazelnut one that I was really not a fan of. I don't know. Let's see. Hmm. I'm not getting a lot of orange. To me, this is almond chocolate. Almond chocolate. And if I want almond, I feel like I prefer frangipani al pistachio or macarons because this chocolate scent, this chocolate note that they keep using in here is very much, again, like that powdery cheap Tootsie Pop kind of chocolate that I just don't like. Like this is fine, but I don't love it. I'm not smelling any citrus. I'm not smelling any coffee. I'm not smelling any florals or patchouli. To me, this is purely almond chocolate, maybe with a little bit of vanilla. And it's a little bit buttery. I'll give it that. Oh, now the more I'm smelling it, the more the orange is coming out. Interesting. Give me a minute. Hmm. Now that the orange is coming out, I'm a bit intrigued. But again, it's that weird powdery chocolate. I don't know if I like this one. 
This one's changing on the card, which makes me think it's going to be a little bit different on the skin. So you know what? Even though this isn't like a home run slam dunk for me on the card, I think I'm going to try this one on my skin. So Mandorlo Chocolato. You know, the more I smell on the card, the more it's becoming orange chocolate, which you all know I've been on the hunt for the perfect like Terry's chocolate orange scent. So if that's it, great. It's an indie and it's relatively inexpensive. So we'll see, but that one's okay. I'm not sure what I think of it. I have a feeling it's gonna transform on the skin based on what it's doing on the index card. All right, next up we have Gateau de Carnival, which this is the funnel cake fragrance. So this was launched in 2018. This has notes of cupcake, brown sugar, vanilla, apricot. I'm expecting this to be funnel cake amazingness and I love funnel cakes. Um, so I'm excited. Hmm. It's not funnel cake, that's for certain. I smell a lot of apricot and I think that's throwing me off. It almost smells like an apricot cake. I don't think I'm a fan of apricot, just like based on how this smells. No, I was wanting just like pure sugar fried funnel cake. This is giving me like apricot cake, which is weird. I don't really like that one. No, that one's not for me, not for me. All right, next up we have Dosseur Brulee. This is another old one. This was released in 2014. This has notes of caramel, butter, lemon, beeswax, coconut milk, and broxen, oak moss, and musk. This sounds really interesting. I mean, all of these to me sound yummy. That's why I bought them. That's why I bought these samples. So I wouldn't buy something I didn't think I was gonna like. I feel like I'm saying the same thing over and over again about some of these. Ooh, I can already smell it. I haven't even put my nose up to it yet. Brulee, completely accurate. This smells like burnt sugar, but not like sugar that's so burnt that it's like, eh, it smells like smoke. This is like brulee sugar. Like, I don't know how they were able to do that from the notes of caramel, butter, lemon, beeswax, coconut milk, and broxen oak moss and musk, but dang, she did it. This smells really good. <laughs> I like this one. This is very interesting. Like that burnt brulee sugar almost gives it like a smokiness that I assume is coming from like the oak moss that I really, really like. Mmm, mmm. There's a little bit of something zesty in there, which again, I think is the lemon. A little something tangy, interesting. Wow, I really like that one. You wanna, you wanna smell like brulee sugar. Dosser brulee, awesome. I see why it's been around since 2014. So next we have We Plus. So this was released in 2015, and this is supposed to smell like s'mores, and I love s'mores, so I'm excited. Getting that chocolate note, kind of makes me a little bit nervous based on some of the previous chocolate notes um, that I've smelled from this brand, but we'll see. So the notes include cacao, marshmallow, coffee, patchouli, Peru, balsam, Styrax, so I'm expecting to smell the whole darn thing. The chocolate, the graham cracker, and the marshmallow, so let's give We Plus a try. Hmm. You don't pick out each layer of a s'more like you would when you're eating a s'more, but there is something very graham crackery to this fragrance that I do like. Again, that chocolate note's a bit weird. I like the graham cracker vibe. I don't smell marshmallow, to be honest. That chocolate note though, mm, yeah. I don't really like that chocolate note. The, the way it started out was just like pure graham cracker bliss. And then that chocolate note kind of ruins it for me because it's just so artificial and there's nothing to like cut through that artificial cheap chocolate kind of scent. So wheat plus personally is not for me, but if they made a fragrance that was just like graham cracker smelling, ooh. Ooh, I would, I would like that, that'd be good. So next up we have Coco a la Vanilla. So this is like you guessed, uh, coconut and vanilla basically. So this has notes of coconut, vanilla bean, whipped cream, taco bean. So I'm assuming powdery coconut, sweet vanilla, just awesome goodness that I'm gonna love. So let's give this one a try. I don't believe I said the year this was released. So let me look at that too, actually. This was released in 2019. 
This has been out for a few years. This coconut is like um, coconut flakes that you use when you make like dessert or you're making like coconut shrimp or something. Hmm. I don't know. To be honest, I'm just smelling the coconut. I don't really smell a lot of vanilla. Like if you were just to put this up to my nose, it'd be like, ah, yes, coconut fragrance. I wouldn't say, hmm, yeah, coconut and vanilla fragrance. Yeah, I don't know about this one. It's a little bit too simple for me. I don't think I like it. Yeah, I think I'd rather eat like this kind of coconut and not really smell it. I think I'm more into like summery coconut. And I have like other coconut fragrances, like the one from Sol de Janeiro, for example, that I enjoy a lot more than that. So that one's not for me. So next up we have Vanille de Debauche, de Bauche, de Bouche. I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> so this is another oldie from the brand. This was released in 2014. This one has notes of tobacco, dried fruits, bourbon, vanilla, beeswax, woody notes, amber. I thought this one sounded a little bit more like less gourmand leaning and a bit more like spicy, interesting, wintery. So I was like, maybe I'll try it. Like I might not like it. Normally I'm not a really big fan of tobacco, but it's worth a try, right? So that's why I ordered this one. This one I'm a little bit nervous about. I think this one is the one I was the least sure about. No. <laughs> yeah, it's very much like artificial fruit notes, a lot of tobacco and wood. This to me is very masculine. And like, if you're a woman who wears masculine fragrances, like good for you. It's just not really my vibe. Like, I own plenty of unisex fragrances in my collection, but I don't like this one. This one's a bit too much for me. So that's a no. That is a no. All right, we're getting down to the final five. We're getting there. This is gonna be a long video. I'm sorry to myself editing this. <laughs> I'm sorry to you all. <laughs> if you're still here, then you're you're awesome. So next we have bonbons à lait, which I assume is like candy or cookies and milk, basically. Yeah, so these notes include custard, milk, sugar, ice cream, sandalwood, and musk. And this perfume was released last year in 2021. So I'm assuming this is gonna be very creamy, lactonic, and sweet. Uh, let's give this one a try. Mmm. 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 Mm -mm. There's something in here that almost smells like melted butter, and I don't like that. <laughs> it's very weird. It's like almost like salted melted butter that's so weird because there's no like salty note or buttery note or anything like that yeah i don't like this this smells like butter to me i don't want to smell like butter no bonbons on lay really not for me not my vibe sorry next up we have miele miel miel again i don't know how to pronounce this this was released in 2020 this is supposed to be like a honey fragrance. So this has notes of honey, apricot, jasmine, mango, plum, sandalwood, tonka bean. So I'm expecting a fruity honey kind of scent. That sounds nice. Let's give it a try. There's something so white floral and like, again, that artificial fruit. Eh. It's that apricot. It's like so apricot, so powdery white floral. And like the bad honey that you get from the grocery store. Ugh. No, I don't like that one at all. No, 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 no. Next up we have Fume Vanille. So, or Fume Vanilla, however you want to pronounce it. This one was released in 2018. And this has notes of vanilla coffee oak moth. That is literally it. Based on the name and all of that, I assume this is supposed to smell like a smoky vanilla. Sounds cool, sounds pleasant. So let's give this one a try. Ooh, I think I'm going nose blind. Ugh, only two more to go after this, I can do it. Eh, this one's okay. It's coffee, it's a little bit of vanilla, it's a little bit like herbal, 
like outdoorsy because the oak moth, I'm not getting smoky vibes. It's not like Dosur Brulee, which was like, oh my God, this is burnt sugar. Like, this is awesome. This is not like smoky vanilla. This is more like, oh yes, I can smell the coffee. I can smell a little bit of vanilla and I smell a little bit of like outdoorsiness. This one's okay. I don't think it's for me. Next up, we have Praline au Caramel. So this one sounds really yummy. This was released in 2019. This has notes of cup. Capuco? Capuso? I don't know how to pronounce that. I also don't know what it is. Caramel, pistachio, coconut, salt, praline. This sounds awesome. This sounds gourmand and yummy. And the pistachio note that this brand uses is really good. So I'm excited. Oh yeah, this is really good. The coconut in here isn't super overpowering. But like you smell the praline, you smell caramel, you smell coconut, you smell something sweet and powdery like that pistachio. This just smells like a yummy dessert that I would want to eat and smell like. So yeah, this one's really good. I like that one a lot. Not much more else to say. And then we're going to be going for the very popular, the most hyped fragrance from this brand, Delicia di Marshmallow. I've heard this is the most realistic, best marshmallow scent on the market. We'll see if it's true. This was released in 2019. And this has notes of marshmallow, vanilla, sugar. That is it. And I've heard this is amazing. So I have high hopes for this one. That's why I saved it for last. Wow. That smells like a bag of marshmallows. Smells like you opened up some jet puffed marshmallows, stick your nose in it. That is very realistic. That was what I was looking for. <laughs> this is really good. I like this a lot. Wow. Yeah, that one's great. Cool. Whew. Well, that was a lot of perfumes. <laughs> um, I think my nose is dead. Um, but let's see how many I liked. I am going to try one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven perfumes on my skin. And the ones I did not like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 11. So seven I liked, 11 I did not. So seven out of 18, I feel like is pretty good. Um, I'm really happy with those seven. They smell really, really good. And I'm really excited to try them. I know I didn't like most of them. Um, that just happens with me. I'm very picky when it comes to fragrance. I get headaches easily. There's just certain notes I don't like. Um, I'm just picky. So. Overall, this fragrance house seems to be really good just based on first impressions. I'm excited to try these out on my skin, see how they wear, and then maybe I'll end up purchasing some. So yeah, I love to support small indie brands like this when it comes to makeup, and I've been getting a little bit more into them when it comes to fragrance as well. So that is it for today's video. If you like this video, please like this video. It helps out with the YouTube algorithm and it also helps me know what kinds of content you'd like to see on my channel. If you like me, please subscribe. I'd love to have you all here. I post two to three times per week. And if you have anything to comment down below, any indie fragrance house recommendations that you think I should try, let me know. Any thoughts on any of these scents, let me know. Um, I love getting recommendations from you all. And I love chatting with you all about things I'm passionate about, which includes fragrances. So with that, thank you for spending part of your day with me and I will see you all next time.